Well, hello there again. It is your awesome host there. It is Team Rai right here. Viewers, did you guys and girls get the opportunity to watch my video from earlier today? If not, hit that freaking notification. Then you will never miss any kind of upload on this freaking YouTube channel. Capiche? Hopefully you enjoy the very first video of the day. Now it is time to get this party started. I will discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now if you don't do nothing like that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on a certain matter. Let's roll it! Anyway, probably a lot of you know already because social media ruins it for a lot of you wrestling fanatics. Or maybe you s s not on social media at all. But I want to tell you this. Matt Riller, I don't know if I said his last name right. If I did, that's right. If I didn't, sorry. He signed a three-year deal with the WWE. Now, everyone knows that he will be with NXT for a while. Okay. Okay. It's amazing how things have changed. In just a f few months, six months ago, W was not even considering signing Matt Riller. I think Riller. My bad. Because of his marijuana use that lead to his release. For I me mean, from UFC. Hmm. Now why did we sign him if he does marijuana? What's your thoughts? Now it looked like Riller. I know I did not say it right. I'm sorry. Will be in WWE for a few years, and he has to be major star. As the first report, Ringside News and Body Slam Net, Riller has signed a three deal with the WWE. Okay, what do you guys thought? Do you think this would be a good decision or a bad decision? Do you think this would be a huge distraction for WWE or not? I don't know what to tell you. You know, I know some states that you could do marijuana. Other states is no dice. I don't know if it's legal in Chicago or Indiana. I think eventually you could smoke that stuff. I never tried it, so don't judge the host. Um, so what do you think? This do you think this is a huge gamble from WWE? So he's a UFC fighter, Do you like Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, and of course. Um, Brock Lesnar was a very successful. And most likely he's going to go back. Maybe, maybe not. You don't know what to believe until it actually happens. Now, does this kind of piss you off, my wrestling fanatics, that WWE's got to sign a former UFC to the mainstream, you know, go to NXT, dominate that brand, go to the Raw SmackDown, have a great um, pop, so, holy cow, he's on a raw. The day after WrestleMania, then a few weeks, or maybe longer, he'll get mixed in a shuffle. It happens. And then people are going to complain why the W took this kind of chance. Maybe because he was a big powerhouse. You know, when he first debuted on NXT, he does great things. You know, great wins, won some championships. And then when it gets to the main roster... He has a big debut, and after that, he f he fell face he fell fell face on his I mean fell face on his flat. I mean, he got very embarrassing. You know, I forgot what I was gonna say, so I'm sorry. Um, he got mixed and shuffle, and then before you know it, it, does not work out, and then next day you know it, he got released, and the people on social media. Special Wrestling says, why in the hell that W give him a three-year contract? You know? Now, if they release him, I'm assuming it's the same thing like other sports, that if they release him, they still got to pay him the rest of his contract. It might be different for W. I don't think it's going to happen. 
but if I hopefully they push him in the right direction, okay? NXT, I'm not worried about that, okay? Because I don't watch it. Because Triple H knows what he's doing. On the other hand, whatever main show he's on, if he's on Raw or SmackDown Live, of course he's going to debut on Raw, most likely, at the WrestleMania or whenever that happens in the near future. He's going to have a great debut. Then, this is a theory, in my opinion, because a lot of history... Maybe six months, a year and a half, he's going to get mix and shuffle. And then McMahon says, it's not really working out. You're going to be back to the mid Carter, And if that don't work out, you could be jobbing around how that works out. Then after that, once the contract expires, they'll release him. Hopefully, that's not the case. It's just my theory. I know a lot of you are going to say, Team Right, right, you know what the hell you're saying. Hey. When WWE Superstar from NXT jump over to, for Raw, they have a great moment, big debut, great matches, no championships, and eventually they get mixed and shuffled. It happens. It happens all the freaking time with certain wrestlers, especially in the independent scene. Very stupid, but whatever. A lot of fans don't like the independent scene. Some of them do, and some of them don't, you know? So I'm going to sign off here. Let me know what you think about the article. And that wraps it up. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe, leave an article. I mean, leave a comment about the article only. Don't, don't, don't give me any hard time. Don't judge the host because I don't say word to word. Enjoy your rest of your Thursday and I'll be back before you know it. Have a good one. Goodbye.